Uh, Dwayne Buck, uh, 113 Andrew Drive. <clears throat> First, uh, let me thank each and every one of you that's on the council today for serving this community. Uh, I certainly may not agree with a lot of the decisions that are made here and perhaps some of the demeanor that takes place, but I certainly do want to compliment you and thank you once again for all the time that it's going to take to keep this borough a good place to live like it has been. Uh, there's some words that were given here by uh, Janie Schwartz that I think are good words of advice for all of us, especially on the council, to work together, to be concerned, be thoughtful in our deliberations, and uh, to take into consideration uh, other people's feelings at times. Now, a lot goes on behind the scenes, I know, that it gets a little rough. And you've done a very nice job tonight. I have to compliment you. I thought this was one of the nicer meetings I've attended. So uh, I think that's good. Uh, a belated thanks to the people that are no longer on the council, uh, Rand Jaslow and Mark Craig. I want to thank them for their service. They put many good years in here. And I especially want to thank Bob Walker for the work that he's done as your budget director in these past uh, years. Uh, that's quite a uh, time-consuming job for those that uh, have not uh, have been involved with that. Uh, he, spend, he spent, as I did in my day, a considerable amount of time in the office and almost every day, and certainly many, many times a week and many, many hours. He's done a wonderful job. I want to compliment you, Bob, for that, that work that you've done. And I know that you and uh, Jerry will do a fine job as a co-chairman of this uh, coming year. So thank you, and thank you once again. One thing I'd like to see, not in the press anymore, is any reference to that when votes are taken, it's according to party lines. I wish we'd drop that party line stuff and say it's according to conscience. You make up your own minds. It's not because you're a party. It's because you're doing the best that you think is to be done for the borough. Thanks again. To uh, go along with Mr. Buck and uh, saying, giving you my appreciation for serving on Borough Council. I served on Borough Council for 12 years, and uh, I realize what a, a, a time it takes in order to do it right. Um, one of the things I am a little concerned with is uh, the uh, public to be heard portion of the Borough Council. Uh, in the past, it has been our practice to have public to be heard at the beginning of a council meeting. No restrictions put on it. Uh, also, at any time when there were serious discussions that were taking place, um, motions made, we were allowed to make discussions at that particular time. Borough was asked, if our council was made, uh, public was asked if they had anything to add. Um, and at the end, naturally, there was public uh, comment. Um, I know that uh, much has been made of uh, being inclusive, making sure that everybody in the borough is represented, everybody has a stake in it, everybody has heard. Um, this is my first council meeting I've been to since the new rules have been instituted, or I guess policy, it's not a rule. Um, but I, even being a former member, I felt there was a sort of a chilling effect. To come into a borough council meeting and having to make a statement about what's going to be on the agenda when not knowing what really is going to transpire during that time, I feel puts the public at a disadvantage. And it also makes it more likely that if anybody has anything to say, well, they might not just say it. I mean, what do I know what's going to happen? I've been up sitting in your position not knowing if I, come, I would come to Borough Council and say, oh, I have a general idea of how I feel about a particular position. Uh, I'd have a general idea of how my fellow councilors thought about a particular position. Uh, many times I'd say, well, I don't think that my fellow councilors are going to agree with me, but I'm going to make a discussion, bring up a discussion. And many times I would find that in the process of discussion, we would find something that we hadn't thought of before, and what I thought might not work actually came to fruition. Um, I've listened to people in, in public, public comment during the deliberations of various concerns. And you have to weigh them. I know, and we, we've talked about it, it was talked about here. There are people who feel that if they give a, a, a petition that their voice is being heard. There's nothing like standing up in front of the council and making sure that you're heard. Not many people realize this. 
But I think if you're really serious about making sure that everybody is well represented and everybody feels like they're a part of what's going on in this borough, that you should change your policy as far as public comment is concerned. I think right now we've gone to one of the more, more restrictive public po uh, comment policies that I've seen in borough council, and I think that it does not serve the people of Newtown Borough. It's not in their best interest, and I would uh, urge you to make sure to reconsider and making it more open so that we can really get a free exchange of ideas. Thank you.